Hello and welcome back here to Assetto Corsa. Today, I know a lot of people have been doing it. They're taking the Quadra out in Assetto Corsa and on Forza Horizon. So I thought, why not join the bandwagon? But what would it be like if this car had a manual trans, 1600 horsepower, and was rear wheel drive? Well, we're going to find that out today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Alright, so we do have this very nasty car out here, and we're just gonna go full send and see what would happen if this car is rear wheel drive. 1600 horsepower. And on the streets of Shibuya Circuit. Oh, here we go. Oh, we stalled it. Gotta keep this thing up at high revs, so definitely been playing a lot of cyberpunk recently. The game is definitely a lot of fun and been seeing a lot of people doing this car in a set of Corsa and Forza Horizon 4. So I figured why not bring it to a set of Corsa, but do it a little different. Make it full blown out rear wheel drive and go full ham sideways. It's it honestly feels like a rotary, to be honest. You gotta keep it such high RPMs. That's just a wall tab. We got it. Still getting used to the lighter weight NRG wheel. But this car, definitely crazy. 1600 horses. Not able to put all of it down to the ground with it being, you know, rear wheel drive. And uh, not that super grippy of tires, but. We're getting it. I think we got this. We're gonna link that. Yep, little handbrake pull down to third. Now, if you guys know of another model of this car that has, you know, maybe a fully done up interior, things of that nature, here on the set of course, let me know down in the comments where I could find it. Definitely gonna be trying some of the other cars that are in a set of Corsa from Cyberpunk that people have made because definitely enjoying the look of these cars. Oh yeah, there we go. I didn't think we were going to make that. But we managed to somehow come out of that alive. Just got to keep this thing pegged. Oh, too much. And the interior view on this, like I said, is in not anything super crazy when it comes to what it looks like inside. But we are going to go into the interior and do some first person slides too. Shibuya, definitely a very awesome circuit. And what better place to bring this type of car than onto a street circuit? Because, well, that's where you're driving it. So if you guys are playing Cyberpunk, let me know down in the comments section what you guys like about it. Did you guys start as a nomad? Did you guys start as a street kid? A corpo? How did you guys start and how do you guys feel about the game? Because I definitely have been having a lot of fun playing it. And going to be trying to buy as many cars in that game as I can. And definitely going to be looking for a lot of them here in a set of Corsa. Maybe do a cyberpunk drift lobby with some uh, modified cars. Because, well, this car is rural drive now. It's not real drive, real drive from the get go. Matt, that 1600 horsepower right there. We got this. This car just flows right now. So much fun. A lot of power though. The first person view, the wheels are going through. The cabin, and I can't see anything out of my head. I don't think my view is perfectly set right. So let's uh, change the view a little bit. I'm for view setting. View settings, we're gonna go down. We're gonna get into the driver's head. So, probably get to a straight section that's not trying to curve the head. There we go. Alright, so now we can get our view 
set over actually to where we're supposed to be because we were in the middle of the car for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but as you can see, the view in this model is not the greatest when it comes to uh, the interior. So if you guys have another, know of another version that has a little bit better interior view, let me know down in the comments because drifting first person in this is not that crazy looking. But it's definitely a handful, this car, with this much power. I could imagine this car on some super sticky tires. A wheel coming through the car. Oh, gotta love these. I believe this mod actually was created before Cyberpunk actually came out, just from like trailers and stuff, so kudos to the pe person that created this. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the outside view. So def a little something a little different, a little cyberpunk-esque here for today. I think we should probably uh, maybe switch up tracks and see. Go to another track with this car. I'm not sure what other street circuits I have. I'm just definitely having a blast with this car. Because having a manual trains on it is definitely a good thing. We got this. Fourth gear peg. Clutch kick that. Oh, oh. Just a wall tap. So I think we should try and take this to another track that is not a street circuit and see what it can get down. Maybe the mountain, maybe a mountain road circuit. Let's go find out. Alright, so we do have a course that has some pretty big sweepy turns. Maybe we can stretch out the legs of this car. Apparently fifth gear does not want to go. Or it's because we were off track. I mean, these sweeps are definitely testing out the 1600 horsepower of this car. Oh, so when you go off course, it bogs you down. This is like 90 degree drifting, jeez oh man. I guess that happens when you have 1600 horsepower. I think this is a good way to stretch the legs of this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little cyberpunk inspired episode with the real wheel drive quadra. Definitely a, a very fun car. So like I said, if you guys know any other cyberpunk cars that are in a set of Corsa or things of that nature, let me know down in the comment section down below about where I can get it or direct message me on Discord with a link or on uh, Instagram with a link. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, I think you guys should come back and watching. Happy full rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. This car just is insane.